My next guest has a, a brand new CD out. It's entitled, If You Buy This CD, I Can Get This Car. Please welcome the always funny Robert Schimmel. Thank you very much. My wife uh, and I just joined this gym because they had a special going. Two can sign up for the price of one and then never come back after about a week. So uh, that's the way it is. It's tough, man. They take me to this place. Everybody looks so good at this gym. You got to work out someplace else before you can go to this place. <laughs> then I have this guy giving me the tour. He goes, first we got to do a fitness test to see where you're at. And I said, well, let me save you some time because I got a little winded filling out the application. <laughs> He puts me on a treadmill, I'm on there for like two minutes, I feel my heart beating and the balls on my feet and I smell bone burning like when you're at the dentist. <laughs> and he's not even watching me. He's like, hey, see the ass on her? He says, no, I have blood in my eyes, help. <laughs> he said, we got all kinds of machines here. I said, yeah, you got a video poker machine? Because I'm good at that. That's a nice workout. <laughs> all kinds of machines. They have saunas, steam rooms. He goes, how about a jacuzzi? I look at some of the guys in the jacuzzi, I'm not getting in there unless I have a condom on and a cork in my ass. <laughs> but I do have to get into shape. I had a mild heart attack this year, and you know you're out of shape when you have a heart attack when you're watching television. <laughs> Let's see what else is on. <laughs> my wife uh, called the hospital, they said dial 911. I said forget it, because she's going to dial 911 and then leave me laying on the floor while she straightens up so the paramedics don't think we're living like pigs. <laughs> then we're in the emergency room. She's crying. I said, honey, if I die, I'm sorry for every bad thing that I ever did to you. And she said, well, what if you don't die? I said, what do you mean? She said, well, then are you still sorry? Or are you only sorry if you die? I said, are you going to start on me now? Then I have to get an angiogram and they shave your crotch, or maybe I just fell for it, but they, uh... <laughs> no, they do, they shave your crotch, and I'm scared, because I stick a tube in your thigh and feed it up to your heart, and I said, is it going to hurt? And they said, no, don't worry, we're going to give you a little Novocaine shot between your legs, and all you're going to feel is a little sting like when you're at the dentist. Said, what dentist do you go to? <laughs> Then I get out, they give me nitroglycerin pills, and one of my friends goes, wow, nitroglycerin? Let's throw one and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be someplace where I'm gonna need my medication and I'm gonna be one pill short. <laughs> then they gave me this brochure from the American Heart Association, which is a great organization. It's called Sex and Heart Disease. They have some unbelievable things in here. Guidelines for resuming sex after a heart attack. Some couples, because of fear, cardiac symptoms, or sexual dysfunction, may not be interested in intercourse or other sexual activities after a heart attack, but you can still build a satisfying relationship with expressions of affection, cuddling, and caressing. <laughs> yeah, and then she does it with the UPS guy when you're at work. <laughs> That's the part they don't tell you. How about this? Your doctor can help you discuss your sexual preferences and explore alternatives. Masturbation helps some people regain self-confidence after a heart attack. If that was true, I'd be more famous than Anthony Robbins. <laughs> Masturbation will help ease your transition to intercourse because it causes less cardiac response and expends less of the body's metabolic energy. Oral sex places no undue stress on the heart, especially at my house. Are you kidding? I have a better chance of getting a heart attack opening the garage door than from oral sex. When it, when it comes to my wife, my penis is in the witness protection program. Yeah, good luck when I get home. Uh, how about this? What if you experience heart attack symptoms during sex? I don't know, stop and dial 911? Uh, no, you're going to go, I know I can finish before my heart stops. If you have any of these symptoms during sex, alert your partner and stop your activity immediately. These are angina symptoms that show your heart can't handle the workload. Workload? Who are you doing it with? Louis Anderson? <laughs> workload? Stop if you have a feeling of pressure, pain, or discomfort in your jaw or neck. 
But what if you're kissing your wife, like from head to toe, and all of a sudden you go, honey, I'm getting a pain in my jaw. And she goes, yeah, nice try. I do you first, and all of a sudden you're getting the heart attack symptoms again. No way, pal. When I'm done, then I'll call 911. If you want to keep ticking, you better start licking, or I ain't calling the ambulance. You guys have been great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great, thank you. Thanks. Thanks for being here, and uh, glad you're feeling better. Yes, by the I way. am. Thank you. Uh, there is a, uh, there is good news. Uh, first of all, CD. Yep. That's out. Congratulations on that. And uh, I understand you're expecting a child. Is that yes, right? Yes, I am. We're going to have our fourth baby in January, actually. That's exciting. It's very exciting. A few months ago, I went with uh, my wife to the doctor, and uh, he said, I told my wife, he said, if you tell me the first day of your last period. And whether it's 28, 29, or 30 days, he said, I can tell you exactly the day that you conceived and the day it's born. They have this wheel that they turn. So my wife told him, and he turns this thing, and he goes, you conceived on April 18th, and you're due January 22nd. He said, how about that? He said, I was on the road on April 18th. <laughs> he said, this thing's never right. <laughs> we hope, yeah. Uh, well... <laughs> you April 18th. <laughs> you know what's weird? That's my birthday. I'm not... Is it? Uh, sorry, that's not funny. I just... It is. It's funny that you would ask me about that date. Uh, the uh, CD, if you buy the CD, I can get this car, which is a very funny title. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, best of luck with that. Best of luck with the uh, new child. Oh, thank you. And hilarious as always. Thanks thank for doing it. Thank you very in. much. Folks, Robert Schimmel, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> I want to thank uh, all my guests. Robert Schimmel, very funny. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you for doing it. Our thanks also to Jeff Daniels for being on the program. Our thanks to uh, the lovely Christina Applegate for being here. Of course, we have the lovely Andy Richter, the lovely Max Weinberg of the Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for later, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.